Hi everyone, welcome to another video on Better Moodle courses from eLearning Portal. In today's video, I will show you how to make courses visible on your students' calendars. Remember, when a student logs in, the first window they see is their dashboards. For me, it's quite useful when all due dates of assignments or quizzes are visible on their calendars. Not only does it act as a reminder for the students, but they can also export it to their own calendars, whether Outlook or Google Calendar. Let me show you how this is done in Moodle. First, we need to install the plugin. So let's go to the Moodle's plugin directory by clicking on a new tab and typing moodle.org. Press enter on your keyboard. Now scroll down to the bottom and click on Plugins. In the search bar, type in Courses and click on Search. Scroll down to where you see Courses to Calendar and click on it. Make sure that you download the correct version for your Moodle installation. I'm on 3.10, so I'll download this version. So I click on download. I can close this or go back to my uh, Moodle installation. I click on site administration. Then I click on plugins and click on install plugins. From here, I can drag the zip file that I've just downloaded and click on Install from zip file. I can click on Continue on this screen. Then, this is an environment check whether my environment is meets the requirements of the plugin. I click on Continue when I see this in green. From here, I'll scroll down to the bottom and I click on Upgrade Moodle Database Now. Okay, so here it says my local course to calendar plugin is installed successfully. I click on Continue. Now it asks me to select a category to include. I'll select my course category. I leave everything on its default and click on Save Changes. Okay, and we're all set now. Okay, so now let's go to our course. Let's go to our Algebra course. And I want to add activities. Remember, we can only allow courses to be exported to our calendar when there are due dates. Okay, so let's click on Topic 4. And from here, I'm going to add an activity with a due date. So let's click on Add an Activity or a Resource. Remember, if this is not visible, make sure that Turn Editing is on by clicking on Turn Editing on. Now I click on Add an Activity or a Resource. I will choose an Assignment Activity. I'll give it a name. Scroll down, I can give it a description. I can add additional files. But what's important here is this block here. My allow submissions from, I'll leave it on today. My due date, I'll leave it on the 7th. But my cutoff date, I can also 
set it to the 7th of November and then remind me to grade I can leave it as is my feedback I can leave on annotate and feedback comments then my submission settings require students to click on submit I can choose yes here require students to accept the submission statement yes additional attempts never then notifications is also important notify graders on late submissions and notify graders about submissions yes my grade I leave on point and 100 percent and then on restrict access or activity completion I choose show activity as complete when conditions are met the student must view it the student must receive a grade and then the students must, must submit the activity to be completed. I click on save and return to course. Remember, we've set the due dates to the 7th of November. When I click on save and return to course, you'll see immediately on my calendar, let's go to November and you'll see that it populated that calendar event. Okay. So there you'll see algebraic equations, homework, there's my activity. Okay, so now once a student enters this course, they will immediately see the calendar as well as the event highlighted by a different color. And you can change these colors for events. When they hover over it, they'll see the notification. They can click on it. And it will take them to a detailed description of the activity due. They can click on go to activity and it will take them straight to that activity. Or they can scroll down and click on export to calendar. Here they can select what should be exported. So let's click on events related to this course as well as a time period next month and then click on export and this will export an .ics file which they can import into either a Google Calendar or an Outlook Calendar. Once they're done, they can go back to the course And this is how easy it is to add an activity and to make it visible on the student's calendar. We can add another activity and this time a quiz. So let's click on add an activity or resource. This time let's add a quiz. Let's give it a name. We can add a description, click on timing and here you'll state whether when the quiz will open by clicking on enable and setting the date. Let's allow this quiz to open on the 5th of, no of November and we'll allow it to close on the 10th of November okay we'll leave this out remember we can set this and a timer will count down uh, the minutes or the hours the learners have to complete this or submit this quiz okay we leave everything as is just under activity completion we select show activity as complete when the students view the activity and they receive a grade we can also set a passing grade, but we'll leave that for now. Let's click on save and return to course. Okay, so now when we go to November, we'll see there's the 5th as well as the 10th. Remember, we opened the quiz on the 5th and we closed it on the 10th. And now it's 
also visible on the student's calendar. And this is like a reminder whenever they enter the course, they'll see the highlighted areas, they can hover over it, they can click on it, which will take them to the, a detailed description of that activity due. They can export it to their calendars and import it back within their calendars. And this is how easy it is to create a, an activity within Moodle as well as to make it visible on the students' calendars. I hope this lesson was informative. Please like and subscribe as well as hit the bell icon for reminders of future videos.